quick tutorial on how to install the Nintendo 64 emulator and play Mario Kart. So first of all you have to go to the Play Store. So we search for Mupen 64. And there it is, your free emulator. Install that. Wow, it installs really quick. This is my new Tron Smart R six R sixty eight box Orion. I think it's a pre release, but it seems very quick. It's an octa core. Okay, let's open that. All right, it installs all the stuff onto your internal hard drive on your box. Sorry, RAM, whatever you call it. Okay, right, so it's now installed into your box. So we now come out of this. So we right click out of everything on my mouse. I've got keyboard and mouse connected. And on a USB stick, I have plugged into the side of the box the ROMs that I downloaded from the emulator site. I think it put it up earlier. It was emuparadise.com, something like that. Anyway, so I just adjust my mic. You need to go to File Manager, and you might have to bear with me a minute because this is a new operating system. Okay, so there's my USB disk. There's my N64 folder. Oh, the song button. All right, now it's a bit complicated. So. You have to highlight that and then you want to go menu on your remote Open plus and then menu paste or oh, background or foreground, I don't know. There we go. Okay, hopefully that'll have worked. Now, to set up your controllers, you do have to set up your controllers because the old Nintendo 64 controller had a very strange sort of layout. Now if you don't set it up, it means that you can play the game but you can't use the special weapons without defining it. So, come out. Let's load my right. game. Now here's your folder that you just copied the game into. There you go. And there it is, Mario Kart. Right, so a few settings you've got to do. Um, I'll just have to pair my new controller, sorry my new box with my controller. So I'll come out of that. And Right, how do we bring it past? I suppose that's settings. Right, here we go. Uh, Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth on. Now, I think on this particular controller, it's an iPega controller. Uh, I think you have to ho hold down the on button, which is home, and the X button to start pairing. That's right, and there it flashes. Okay, and it's found it on the screen. Connecting, connect it, wicked. There we go. Okay. Okay, so if I go back and back, yeah, working fine. So A selects that. 
Now, just got to go into settings, input, controller. Right, now you see what I do is I remap the whole lot. So I go to unmap all. It's a bit time consuming, but it works. And then every time you click on one of the buttons, you define it. So I go that for that. Now this is where you've got to make sure you use the Z button, which is fire on the trigger of a normal N64 controller, to something like X or B, or sorry, X or a Y on the keypad, so that when you're playing along, you can fire your special weapon on Mario's, and I use the top ones for jump. So the middle one is start. Now Z I always do as X, and then right is top right, and left, top left. Now this is the other controller bit that's I think useful for other games such as Mario World and what have you. I'm not totally sure how to play GoldenEye, um, but it does work. Right, so that's all done now. Right, back we go. Let's try playing it. Oh, one more second, forgot to. Forgot to turn off the touchscreen controls, okay? Because obviously, if you're playing with like this, I'll show you how to do that. You can also bring it up with the menu button. Go back again. So in settings, uh, video. No, it's not video. Uh, input. Touch screen. Enable touch screen off. And then hopefully. Hopefully, he says. Da, 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 da. Go away. Well, if there's any questions, let me know. It's pretty much similar for all the MLS. Main is one of my favourites. Thank you.